I have a tendency that if I do something and it's not perfect, I do it over and over and over again. <laughs> Oh, it's so great to see you guys. Thanks for watching. Can I ask you for a favor, if you don't mind? Can you write down, I feel terrific today in the comment section below. Help me engage with you. I wanna connect with you. I want to authentically know how you're doing. And also, if you have any questions that maybe I can answer for you in a video, I would love to do that for you. So, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share and tell all of your friends about the connections that you're making and I will see ya on the flip side. Hey guys, it's Terry. How's your heart today? How's your heart doing? I hope it's well. I hope it's well. And if you're having a bit of a challenging time right now, you're at the right place at the right time because we're gonna be working on tapping into the frequency of this mantra. I am smart enough. Yes. So the whole idea of mantras is so that the subconscious mind can receive a message that you tell it over and over and over again, because the subconscious mind, once it accepts something, it doesn't know the difference between fantasy or reality. So you have the ability to create something real for yourself. And each mantra has its own vibrational frequency. So today I wanted to guide us into the frequency of the mantra, I am smart enough. So I don't know if you're like me, I'm just gonna share with you an example of how I would use this in my life. So I have this pattern we all have patterns, we all have conditioning, our operating system operates the way it is. So the challenge is, is that you have an operating system of wanting to be perfect. Sometimes perfectionism isn't always in play. Yes, yes. So in addition to learning how to break the pattern of being perfect or having perfectionism, from an energetic perspective, we can shift and change up that frequency. So I have a tendency that if I do something and it's not perfect, I do it over and over and over again. In that process of doing it over and over and over again, I start to feel defeated. And for me, the message that my ego starts to tell me is that I'm just dumb. I just, I can't do this. I must be stupid, right? Therefore, I am not smart enough but we're gonna combat that today. So if you're one of these people who have the tendency to feel defeated for intelligence reasons, like, you know, and everybody has their own story, everybody's got their own shtick, yes? Um, you know, feel free to use mine <laughs> if you want, or even use it as like a springboard to like see, oh, well, this is where, these are the areas where I don't feel smart enough. Um, and it's a very human thing because we're not taught we are enough of anything, you know, unless we really have that secure attachment with our caregivers. And it's not often that happens, that it, but it does. But in the meantime, in between time, if that's not our normal, typical, regular uh, operating system, sometimes we have to help it along. So here is a way energetically to help it along. Again, we are tapping into the frequencies of being smart enough, okay? So y'all know about deep belly breaths, right? If you do, please be patient because I have new people coming to this channel all the time and I want everybody to have an amazing experience no matter where you are on the spectrum of knowing about paranormalism, is that even a word? Spiritualism, quantum spirituality, uh, psychism, mediumship, mysticness, or just whatever. We are all at different levels. So I appreciate your patience with me if you already know this, but I wanna welcome also people who are unfamiliar as well. 
So a deep belly breath is a diaphragmatic breath in which you're taking a really deep breath, but you're taking it slow because most of us breathe very shallowly. So it's fast and quick, right? When it's fast and quick, we're actually not getting enough oxygen to the brain for clear thinking. And especially if we're wanting to tap into and prove ourselves wrong that we are smart enough, we're gonna wanna have as clear thinking process as possible, yes? So we're gonna wanna really take in, sip in, grab this really deep belly breath, diaphragmatic breath. So what happens is on our inhale, we're gonna imagine, picture, think, or feel, and you can even literally place, I know you can't see it based on how the, the camera is, but you can place one hand on your belly. And as you're taking a deep breath in, you're filling up your belly. So your hand is gonna expand, right? So it'll go out like this, yes, yes. And then when you're doing your slow, deep, exhale, your belly is contracting and you'll notice your hand going inside. Now, there's not gonna be, for this particular breath, there is no pause in between, okay? Sometimes when I'm working with your energy, I will direct you to do a pause and sometimes I won't. With this deep diaphragmatic, deep belly breathing, there isn't, okay? So, um, so we're just gonna take, we're gonna do about five breaths together, okay? Now when you're doing this on your own, you're gonna wanna take at least three, anywhere to five, okay? And to tap into this frequency, it doesn't, you don't have to make a big deal about it, okay? So don't feel like you have to be in a certain position, your hands have to be in a certain mudra. There are no fucking rules. <laughs> you do you, boo. You know, some days it'll be easier, some days it won't be as easy, but it's a process and it's a practice. Remember that if you're wanting to start a spiritual practice, this is a great introduction into spiritual practice, okay? So it's super easy, it's not hard, but it only gets easy once you've been doing it over and over and over again. So if you are challenged right now, it's okay. I don't want you to feel like you have to be perfect. I don't want you to feel like you have to do it any particular way. Just make sure you're doing your deep belly breaths at first. I'm also gonna guide you to put your hands on your heart because your heart is the largest electromagnetic field of your body, bigger than your brain. The heart has the capacity to alchemize, transmute, transform, any emotions or feelings or frequencies that are going on. So remember, we wanna tap into a frequency, okay? Which means we're going to be putting out or emitting ourself, our own current signal to kind of grab and latch on to those frequencies of being smart enough, okay? So it's really simple. It's not very hard at all, but it can be when you're first starting. So be patient, be kind to yourself, and keep practicing, okay? So here we go. Now you can either keep your eyes open or keep your eyes closed. I personally keep my eyes closed because I wanna shut off the reality around me that I see in this physical world with my physical eyes. I wanna go inside. I wanna retreat to what my authentic energy is without any influence from the outside. So that is how I roll and that is why I close my eyes. So go ahead and you're gonna put your hands on your belly. We're gonna do some deep belly breathing and we're gonna do about five breaths together and then just listen to my direction. I promise you are in good hands. And the other thing is just know you do have control. So if you don't like something that I'm saying or you don't like what you're hearing, don't do it. <laughs> it is that simple. Don't do anything you don't resonate with. Don't do anything that doesn't feel good. I don't care who's telling you this. A psychic, a medium, a healer, a shaman, who the fuck cares? Doesn't feel right to you, do not do it. I will promise I will not get upset at you and I will not be offended. So don't you worry. You do you, boo. But you should know my intention is that this is not to be harmful for you in any way. All right. So let's do this thing, shall we? Hands on your belly and then closing your eyes. And we're going to take our first, remember we're inhaling, 
filling up the belly, exhaling, deflating the belly, okay? As if your belly is a balloon. Here we go. Inhale. Fill that belly and then slowly exhale. And it's okay if you exhale through your mouth or your nose, whichever is more comfortable for you. Okay, and inhale, fill that belly, deep belly breaths. And exhale, slow. That's good, that's two so far. And inhale. And exhale. And exhale. And inhale. This is the last one. And exhale. Now keep your eyes closed and just find a comfortable breathing pattern for yourself. Now you may have heard me make a noise with the exhale because I formed the O shaped with my lips and that is something you can do. That helps push out the energy more and it does make it more intense. So there is that option for you as well. So you may find that you need to exhale through that O shaped, through your lips, through your mouth. So do it as often as you need to. And here's the wonderful thing is because you're doing this on your own. No one can actually hear any of the noises that come out of your body, okay? You're obviously hearing my noises because I'm recording this for you but no one is hearing yours. So really be and sit with this breath. We're gonna take two more deep belly breaths. This time, form that O on the exhale and really push that air out, all right? Here we go, inhale, deep belly breath. And then exhale. Again, last time, inhale. And now exhale. Good. And just put both hands on your heart. Find that comfortable breathing pattern for yourself. And if you feel the need to really push out and expel any pent up energy, please feel free to do that as you are placing your hands on your heart. and also now placing your awareness and your focus on your heart as well. And as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, where we place our awareness is where we place our energy. So right now we are feeding our heart's energy. and we're getting into the heart space so that we can access those frequencies of the mantra, I am smart enough. So now just place your awareness on the tip of your nose while you are keeping your hands on your heart. So now we're sending energy to the tip of our nose and just noticing the space around your nose. That's it, the space around your nose, sensing that space, being aware of that space around your nose. And now noticing and sensing or being aware of the space around your head 
your entire head, noticing that space, focusing, placing your awareness on the space around your head. Let's take in a deep belly breath now, in. And now exhale. Now, as you're noticing and focusing on the space around your head, using your imagination, sense and be aware of this frequency as you say either out loud or silently to yourself, I am smart enough. just tap into that frequency of intelligence feeling that frequency around you in the space around you sensing it or merely thinking of it or feeling it that sensation of intelligence focusing and placing your awareness on your heart. So moving that awareness from the space around your head back into your heart now. We're gonna take two deep belly breaths in and out. In and out. and saying out loud or silently to yourself, I am smart enough. Again, I am smart enough. Last time, I am smart enough. Take in a deep belly breath. This time, hold it, hold it, hold it. And now exhale very slowly. And either out loud or silently to yourself, once again, the mantra, I am smart enough. And now you can become more and more aware of your surroundings, becoming more and more aware, placing your awareness on your entire physical body, coming more and more back into yourself, into the world of the senses. And when you're ready, you can flutter your eyes open. You can put your hands onto your lap. And you can take a deep breath and welcome yourself back to the world of the senses. And see if you can just feel that energetic shift that has just happened. Now, if you're feeling a bit lightheaded, that's okay. Give yourself a few moments before you stand up or before you move. And definitely a few more moments <laughs> before you drive or operate any heavy machinery. Yes, yes, yes. I thank you so much with so much gratitude for allowing me this opportunity to not only share that with you, but also to do it with you. I was right there along with you. Now I've been doing this for a while now, so my body just boom, automatically goes there. So if your body didn't go there just yet, that's okay. That is okay, it's a practice. You might be new at this. So just be kind and compassionate and patient with yourself and don't give up. This is a practice over and over and over again. When we first learned how to tie our shoelaces, 
it, we didn't get that concept right away. It took some practice. So that's what we're doing here. So today's mantra, the frequency, the healing vibe frequency of today's mantra is I am smart enough and you are, and you are. What am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your family and friends. This is a great way to connect to yourself. And as you connect to yourself, you're also connecting to the divine and you're building your intuition and you're giving yourself permission to feel safe in this world. So this allows you to connect to yourself. And of course, don't forget, you can always connect to me by checking me out at terryhuberman.com. There are so many ways that you can work with me. I would love to help you shift your energy so that you can thrive in a life of freedom, joy, and security. And I'll see ya on the flip side.